It's a smartphone gun. You can connect any smartphone to the gun. You hunt down some helicopters and you just shoot around. So we are taking this disconnect sensor and as you can see we are creating a 3D model of the world. One, two, three, go! And you see, you can see all kinds of balls here, I think. And now you can see how they accumulate in the ball. Basically, the product is, in the, is a digital pen that have a receiving part and have a transmitting part based on an ultrasound technology. Whatever you write on a piece of paper, you're going directly to the flash memory that's in the device. In the second generation product, we managed to eliminate the need of the, of the receiver. And now we basically have the, the ability to write on the screen, have a full 3D capability. You know, for me, this is really an exciting event because I've devoted my entire adult life to innovation and really creating new technologies. I had a chance uh, earlier this evening to walk around, see some of the demos. Uh, it was really wonderful. I really had a wonderful time doing that. Hi, everyone. I'm Leanne from Point Grab. We are uh, an Israeli software company that has actually built software that enables any user to uh, control your TV, PC, tablet, smartphone uh, with only hand gestures. You can control the, any system you like um, using a regular 2D camera. As you can see here, this is a regular PC that we use. It's tracking the hand. It actually identifies my hand and also, also tracks it. So this is iRoad. It's an application and it uses a smartphone camera, GPS and accelerometers to literally sense the car ahead of you, giving you tailgating alerts, collision warning alerts, lane keeping alerts, and speeding alerts. So it's a full complete collision warning system, but as an app, so it's software only, you can take it from car to car. This application won the CS 2012 Innovation Award. So we're a Fujigate, we're an Israeli-based company. What we do is we provide a service to consumers, the ability to take any product from the supermarket, scan it by scanning a barcode or by putting the product name. It gives you a grade, meaning uh, how good or bad this product is in its category. So we're giving you alternatives to similar products which are a bit healthy. The mobile travel companion is our solution for how to handle foreign languages. If, if I eat only kosher, so it might be really important for me. You're using a video chat device. You can tune the, the digital makeup function and that way you can determine how you will look on the other end. So it's a kind of a image improvement over video chat platforms. So what you see here is a solution for taking a, a PC game which was not originally intended to be run on tablets and actually being able to use it on a tablet. And we actually created this cool set of features in-game. What you see here, this is our joystick which enables you to uh, control the character. Just take the medicine box, you take the barcode and you scan it with our application. Each time you need to take your medication, you get a reminder on your phone that this is the time to take the, the pills. If you have a family, you have elderly parents, or you have some children that need to take some medication, you can see if they didn't take it, take it on time and then get a reminder. Photochino is all about taking photo sets from trips, from events, from uh, family photos, and what it does, it actually selects the best photos automatically. Any event of hundreds of thousands of photos and it will actually choose the right ones. The exact way that a human brain does it. So for example, if we take Nike, we're in a shop of Nike and I see this uh, shoe. Okay, it looks really nice. I know it's Nike, I know it's football. But apart from that, I don't know much. And the second it recognizes the object, I see the general information. Okay, it tells me the name of the shoe. I can uh, click watch video and I can start seeing, uh, watching the video that Nike made about, about the shoe. I get more uh, specific details about the shoe. Why, uh, why it's made of the fabric it's made of. 